Good evening. My name is Oscar Bartoli. I'm an Italian journalist. And before coming here, I read a research by Zogby International, according to which the 53% of the Americans are in favor to attack Iran. I would like to have your opinion, please. Thank you very much. Uh, shall we start with Mr. Kinzer on this question? Yeah, I don't, you don't get all the hard ones. <laughs> The press has played a, a, a very shameful role uh, in these last months in uh, helping to fan the flames of war with Iran, just as we did in the run-up to the war with Iraq. Uh, I have to say that we share this distinction with most of the other principal institutions uh, in the United States. The Supreme Court has become a wholly owned subsidiary of the White House. The Congress has effectively liquidated itself as an independent branch of government. The Democratic Party is completely brain dead. So why should the press be any different? We, uh, more seriously, we, we truly have failed because we have always presented the problems between Iran and the United States from the official United States paradigm, just the way it is coming out of the White House. We never try to see the world the way it might look from other people's perspectives. This is a classic failure of the press, and that's why American people so often leap to support policies that so fundamentally undermine the interests of our own country. Ambassador Langer? <laughs> what does I'm say in addition to that? I have not. <laughs> the, the question, the assumption is that 50% of the American people favor war with their own. Right. 53% yeah. of the American people, according to the Italian journalists, favor um, armed intervention in Iran. Favor what? Military intervention with you. Well, I'm not in that category, for God's sake. They didn't take the ball in this room. I think, but on the face of it, I've got, look, I've got three sons who serve in the military service. One still in active duty with the, with the United States Navy. Just back from six months in the Persian Gulf. I don't think he is among them. That supposed major, near majority who favor military intervention in Iran. And I assume by what we mean by that is bombing out the facilities. Is that what people mean when they're asked that question? We may, you know, we may come to that point. There is so much that could be done and will be done and should be done before we reach that point. I keep saying, I'm prepared to accept what the President says. Both he and Secretary Rice are on the table, on record, as saying they intend to pursue this issue by diplomacy. And, yeah, force is still on the table, particularly when we hear it from the President. I remain convinced myself, and I think my sons would all agree, that the use of force, by that I mean, let's exclude forcible invasion from the landmass of Iran. I would assume that anyone of any intelligence at all would realize that today, given our situation in Iraq and Afghanistan, we don't have the capability to do that. Can we strike them with intervention in the form of hitting their facilities? Well, others are, all of you know that that's not as easy as it was for the Israelis back in the Iraq, days of Iraq. Even that, in my view, and I think my colleagues would all share it, that kind of military intervention has consequences broadly defined in that region that could be disastrous. Thank you, Ambassador. Dr. Farsi. I actually believe that the statistic has been misquoted. If I remember it correctly, it says that 53% of the American public would favor it if diplomacy had failed. Whereas 79% of the American public favors diplomacy with Iran and oppose war as a first step. I think that's much more likely mindful of the great opposition that currently exists against the war in Iraq. I think it's pretty safe to say that the American people oftentimes are wiser than the current leadership. Thank you very much.